Hey everybody, Josiah Newman here. Today we're going to talk about how to take your dog fishing on a boat. We're going to talk about safety first. And the first safety protocol is have your dog get in or out of the boat on command. This is very simple, but it will and could potentially save your dog's life. And that's because there's going to be times when we need to get things put away before they get into the boat, whether it's fishing tackle, uh, fillet knife, or getting the boat properly secured or untied from the dock. So we don't want the dog just anticipating it's time to go on a trip, so they're going to just jump in and get into harm's way. When we're returning from the fishing trip, we also want to be able to focus on getting the boat up to the dock and weather conditions aren't always the best, so we don't want the dog just anticipating as we're pulling up that it's time to get out of the boat. So having them get in or out of the boat on command is an important safety protocol. I don't feed my dogs right before a fishing trip or while they're on the boat, and that's because I don't want my dogs to bloat or get gastric torsion, and also I don't want them to get motion sickness during the trip. So it's better off wait until you're gonna be back from the fishing trip when they're settled to feed them, and if you need to give them a little bit of water during the fishing trip, that certainly is fine. Have a wire cutter readily available at all times in case your dog gets hooked. It's also good in case a human gets hooked too. I have heard stories from vets where people have taken their dog fishing, dog gets hooked, they were unable to cut the hook as they were trying to handle the dog, they got hooked to their dog, or I've also heard where the dog gets hooked and then the dog by pawing at its face ends up hooking itself a second time and dogs have been had to be carried to the vet, hand carried out of the boundary waters. There's been some awful situations that could have been easily avoided by having a wire cutter readily available. Have a life vest on board for your dog. If you have a dog that's a very good swimmer, they might not need to wear it at all times, especially if it's really hot out, but if your dog is not a very good swimmer, it would be better that they're wearing it while they're on the boat. Have an emergency vet phone number programmed into your phone so that if an emergency happens, you can immediately get a hold of the vet in that area. If you're out of the area where you live or where you normally take your dog to the vet, being able to quickly get someone on the phone in case of an emergency is important. So now that we've got safety out of the way, we're going to talk about how to make the day more enjoyable. The first, have some form of dog bug spray with you, whether it's biting flies, gnats, noceums, mosquitoes, Having some form of bug spray can make it that much easier for your dog to get comfortable and it's going to attract less bugs to the boat, which can also bug you too. Have a water bottle or bowl on the boat so that you can give your dog access to drinking water. Depending on where you fish or the type of lake or river that you're on, you may not want your dog drinking the water directly out of the lake or the river. And in that case, you would also want to pack some water for the day that's gonna be safe for your dog to drink. A shady space on the boat or some kind of sunshade or umbrella can make your dog that much more comfortable. When you're out there, you've got your hat on, your sunglasses, there's things that you can do to get comfortable, but if your dog has to lay out in the sun, they can quickly overheat or have heat stroke. So simply pack an umbrella or have a space on your boat where your dog can lay down in the shade. Pack some paper towels and some cleaner. Just in case your dog gets motion sickness, it's gonna be much easier to clean up. I hope you found these tips on taking your dog fishing on a boat to be helpful. Some of them also will apply if you're gonna take your dog in a kayak or a canoe. Please feel welcome to comment below if there's any additional tips or information you'd like us to cover.